What's up, gang? Listen up. I'm going to give you guys in this video, right now, reasons why women test you. Now, some guys have asked me before and DM me, talk to me over messages, like, bro, is this girl, is she just testing me? Saying stuff like this. So, yes, women test you. Yes, it's normal. And women test you for the good and the bad. There's two sides to it. And it's either, it's either or. There's no in between. And this is something you just have to know yourself. You have to pay attention to what this girl's doing. Women test you for the good and the bad. So, when they test you for the bad, they're testing you in a lying, cheating, evil, manipulative type of way to see what they can get out of you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to test you to see if they can get over on you. They might show attraction, but it's not real because they want you to think that so they can get with you to maybe get money out of you. They might give you something. They might give you sex so they can get money out of you because this is what they want. This is what they probably need in their life. And this is for the bad. You got to watch out for these types of females because they are out there. The gold diggers. And they don't love you at all. They love the money you have. So the attraction they show you, they can trick you with that. And they can do this because maybe you have good resources. Maybe you're in with a crew of people that they might not be able to get in with. But if she comes with you, now she can come here. Now she can talk to these people, manipulate these people, and once she's there with these people, she might leave you and start going with them. You know what I'm saying? These bitches do some crazy shit, bro. You'd be surprised. They'll do anything to get what they want. They will lie to anybody they have to lie to to get what they want. And they are testing you for the bad in this case. And also, there's the women that test you for the good. So, <clears throat> if somebody is going to come into your life, we all test people. We all test people. I'm just giving you guys the reasons right now why women test people. But I test people. You guys test people. If new people are going to come into your life, we are testing them some way, somehow. We're getting to know them. We want to see what they're like. We want to see if they're a fucking psychopath or not. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't just trust somebody the moment you see somebody. We're going to talk. We're all testing each other. We're testing our boundaries. So, women will test you for the good because they want to get you know, to know you more. Because they see attraction in you. Real attraction. They are really attracted to you. They see potential in you. So they're going to test you. They're going to ask you lots of questions. And that's a good thing. If they're asking you like... And you know what? Women can still lie when they're doing this. But you should be able to tell when it's real and when it's not real. With me, I could always tell. There's no girl that ever got over on me with money situations. No girl's ever got money out of me and I had a whole hell of a lot of it. I did get tricked with my heart though, but honestly, I feel like these girls that tricked me with my heart, they honestly did like me. I just feel that they were also scared themselves and they backed out because they were scared. But it was still a narcissistic move. They still did me dirty. And that's what it was, but when girls are testing you for the good, they might ask you questions like, where did you grow up? What's your family like? Who's your family? Do you have any pets? 
what your past relationships like, your past history. They want to know. They want to know more about you and your history, right? Other questions as well. These are just a few examples. They're going to ask you questions because they want to get to know you better. And a whole hell of a lot of other questions too. And you can literally feel if that attraction is real or not. You can feel it when someone is deeply curious about you as a person and they just want to know more. This is not a bad thing. This is a good test. And you can test her as well and she won't mind because if you're testing her back the same way and she's answering the questions no problem, being happy about answering the questions no problem, you got yourself a real connection here. If she's being secretive, she doesn't want to answer questions you're asking her and they're not hard questions, they're pretty straight up questions, then that's a pretty big red flag. And that's just what it is. So you have to understand the difference between the two because some guys take it out of fucking order, bro. Like, just because a woman's testing you doesn't mean it's always a bad test. And then you got the women that'll test you in like a very weird, unusual way. Like, this girl might be very skeptical of you and she's just not sure about you at all. She's terrified of you. Absolutely terrified. Because she knows she deep down inside, this girl damn near loves you, bro, and she don't even know you. This is what I'm talking about. She might be scared to talk to you. She wants to talk to you badly, but she might even be scared to, and she doesn't want to start talking to you a whole bunch because she's scared what's going to happen. She does not want to get rejected at all. She don't want to go there because that would dent her pride. That would make her feel like shit. And this happens, guys. This has happened to me. Girls, a lot of girls are terrified of me, believe it or not. They're intimidated. They're very intimidated. A lot of them. They're scared to talk to me. The most that girls ever talk to me, like my whole life, a lot of girls in school, when they were sober, were very intimidated of me. The best looking ones, the best of them all. But after school on the weekends, when we go to a party, they got a little bit of alcohol in their system. Everyone's loosened up. They come around me looking at me with these fucking bug eyes like they just seen fucking I don't know what. They're awfully approachable then. But some girls are just intimidated, bro. So you just got to know that for what it is too. They might be very shy. Like you, you could be walking around school. You might think this girl's not into you just because she's not looking at you. But psychology says if a female cannot look you in the eyes, that means she is attracted to you. That's what that means, bro. Like if you're skeptical of a girl, you guys want to talk back and forth over text or something like this and you might walk by a girl in the hallway on the way to class, walk by her at lunch during school and she don't look you in the eyes and you feel like she probably should acknowledge you. She's not doing that because she doesn't like you, bro. She's doing that because she likes you and she's nervous. That's what that means. If a girl can look you dead in the eyes and have a conversation with you in person, sober, she can still have attraction for you, but there's a greater chance that like she can hold off on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, girls can still be highly attracted to you having a conversation with you and looking you in your eyes, but a lot of girls can't hide that very well. You know what I'm saying? They're more nervous than guys. So, but then there's some fucking girls that are fucking stoic, bro. So, and they're very smart, very intelligent. So some can, just not very many. 
So see these situations for what they are, bro. I hope this video helped. Because even when I was younger, I did girls' numbers in school. Pretty little girls. And we'd talk a storm over text, but then when it came to school, they'd be shy. Very, very shy. And it's like, is this girl playing me? What, what, what's she up to? No, bro. She's just shy. She's just shy. And she doesn't want to look stupid in front of you. That's why when she's at a party, she's got a little bit of liquor in her. She's feeling good. She's feeling loosened up. She might even be able to look you in your eyes now. Definitely. Then you go back to school after the weekend and it's the same thing. Tucks her tail between her legs and looks down and looks sideways, pretend you're not there. And that's how it is, bro. But anyways... I came across my points in this video. If you have to rewatch it, rewatch it. Do not put words in my mouth. Watch the video again. And see it for yourself, bro. Because these are all facts. This is all truth. I hope this helped. I'm out.